My favourite childhood memory is going to the caravan with my mum and dad at Stonehaven. I loved it. I once won the Mr Muscle competition a long time ago and we used to go to the swimming pool all the time and go for chips and it was just, it was amazing. Until I got to the age of 15, then I hated it. Ooh. Mm. Nothing. <laughs> No, probably uh, I've got a bit of OCD, so everything has to be quite regimented, on time, precise, and sometimes they just think, oh, loosen up a bit. But I can't help it, but I know they love me, really. My wife finds most annoying about me the fact that I am very, very juvenile and infantile, and she really wants me to grow up, and we both know that's never going to happen. <laughs> Uh, my favourite childhood memory was probably when I ended up riding my bike without stabilisers and my two sisters, my brother, my mum and dad were all there. They'd been waiting a very long time for it and there I went whew, along the street and I just remember them all clapping and being so proud of me. Never been on a bike since, not going to lie. I get really scared when I go over high bridges. Fourth Road Bridge, Erskine Bridge, any of those, I don't do bridges well at all. I have this fear that they're just going to collapse, which I know they won't because they were built brilliantly by good Scottish engineers, but I don't like it. I don't like it. Um, rescued me. Well, it wasn't actually my mum. It was my dad. He's the only one that really rescued me out of a situation. We went to a supermarket when I was five and I sort of toddled off and ended up speaking to the ladies at the, you know, the bit that you would go to if you were lost and told them that my name was Jessie and I started talking in an American accent. <laughs> and I was there for like 20 minutes and they were going over the tannoy going, Jessie is an American girl. Where, meanwhile, my dad was running about having a heart attack, um, but he came back and rescued me. I think he sometimes wishes he'd just left me there. <laughs> but I'm back. He got me. My favourite place in Scotland is, well, either the Botanics in Edinburgh or Glasgow, because they're both amazing. I, I probably think that Glasgow just edges it because that conservatory, Victorian conservatory, is just amazing. I love it. I can spend hours in there. I, I can, honest. And it's nice and warm. Uh, the daftest thing, without question, I got in a helicopter that was this size, and it didn't even have doors. It just had those levers that you would pull down. I went up 8,000 feet and I jumped out. I thought I was going to die, but I made it and it was the best thing I'd ever done and I will never do it again. But um, I'll let you into a little secret. Robin Galloway will. I'm quite happy with what I've done in life. I've done quite a lot. Um, Adele wants me to skydive in Dubai at some point and I have a fear that at some point the next time I'm in Dubai, somebody's just like going to kidnap me and, and take me up there because that's what you'd have to do. You'd have to sedate me first, which is probably against health and safety. But I suppose that's only the bucket list for what Adele wants me to do. But I can't see it ever happening. Sorry, Adele. What gives me the fear? Small spaces, very claustrophobic. Even in a plane, I can't go to the toilet. I'd rather hold it in for 12 hours. Not bothered. Um, someone has to come with me, stand outside, don't shut the door properly, hold it open. Bit of a drama. Claustrophobic. Please don't ever lock me in anywhere. Ever. I think that I am the stereotypical dad, the stereotypical embarrassing dad, but I know that my son Miles, who is also a DJ in Dubai, he actually once described me as his hero, which got me quite emotional. Didn't really expect that, so thanks, Miles. Probably the other two hate me, but... <laughs>